I want to thank everyone for joining us for the fulfillment tech tips and trends uh, for 2021 and beyond. We have a great lineup for you. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, fulfillment challenges, I'll just post COVID, um, you know, supply chain issues that are happening. Uh, Scott Price, international president for UPS, is saying, order your Christmas presents now. Um, I'm saying, wait, what happened to Black Friday? Uh, so I guess it's uh, September and October this year. Uh, according to a creditcard.com survey published earlier this month, one in four shoppers are planning to do their holiday shopping in September. Half are planning for pre-Halloween, and of these um, shoppers, two-thirds saying two-thirds are saying they'll do all of this online. That brings us to supply chain executives. There's 65 percent are saying that increased efficiency is one of their top priorities for this next year, um, and increased visibility is also being a top concern. And with that, we are coming to your agenda. So we have great lineup um, to chat about um, the various areas of uh, supply chain, getting your um, inventory in, uh, and then shipping it out, getting payment on it. And we um, will start with SPS and talking about their uh, retail solution and go on through the supply chain. So I'll pass it over to Matt. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Matt Wasink, and I am the Sage Channel Manager here at SPS. Happy to be joining you today. And really SPS's role in this kind of configuration we'll be looking at today is helping you to automate the order to cash process. And really how do you interact with the orders you're receiving both from traditional EDI wholesale retailers, but also in the changing landscape we see today from those B2C orders that are coming in online. Thanks for jumping there. As we, as we look at this initial um, slide you're looking at, one of the things that's important to recognize for SPS is the value of having a solution that not only automates how you're receiving orders into your backend system, but a solution that can scale up or down with you as you need as a customer. And so something we see all the time is coming alongside someone who maybe they're just getting into Shopify, they've never been in that space before, or they have their first EDI trading partner, but really their needs center around a single sales channel and a single entity. And so they wanna find automation for that solution. However, everyone's goal is to grow their business, right? And so as companies grow, they begin having multiple channels. Maybe historically it was a company that did mostly EDI wholesale with traditional retailers. And now because of the pandemic, they're in a significant shift over to e-commerce. You don't wanna have a totally different system to set up how you're receiving new orders. And so the value that you see with SPS is the ability to come alongside a company or a partner for that matter and help them have a solution that scales and can grow and actually be something that actually empowers them to grow and, and continue scaling at pace where their systems and their technology stack doesn't become a bottleneck to that growth. Sometimes those complexities involve adding things like 3PLs, et cetera, and then even getting to the point where that order volume is significant enough that you're actually integrating into your Sage system. Point of being there, SPS can scale with you as you pivot as a company. We can jump to the next slide. As we're jumping to that next slide, historically SPS has been in the EDI wholesale bucket that you see on your right. One of the things that we anticipated well was that there was growth in the market towards e-commerce, so your Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce connections, as well as marketplaces. And so the benefit that we're seeing is giving customers the opportunity to make those pivots and be proactive about grabbing that Shopify connection and plugging it into their existing setup in order to cash process in a way that's seamless. And when we do this, it provides a, an incredible amount of value to the customer because if they have, let's say, Target and Walmart and Costco already set up and integrated, they can now duplicate that as they connect to their Magento connection or as they move more into the Amazon space. The, the benefit here is grabbing multiple sales channels and taking those sales channels and pulling them into your Sage system, leveraging the same solution. So you're not adding complexity 
even as you streamline those sales channels. Those are the major value points that we see for customers as there's a huge spike. You know, we let off talking about essentially it's black fall now instead of black Friday, like order your stuff in September and October. Consumer buying habits have changed. And so being able to move with that and automate those orders, especially when there's some unpredictability, what might've been a trickle of orders in August spikes in September and October, if you can automate that leveraging your same technology solution like Mapadoc and SPS, it's a huge advantage. The other piece to that puzzle is also having visibility into, for a customer, how are my products selling? What is the point of sale data in the individual stores for those traditional EDI customers? That's on the right, you see our sales data on analytics product. It allows you to see real-time data to know where are we selling the most products so you can position inventory and kind of manage those supply chain and warehouse struggles. Obviously supply chain challenges are kind of the name of the game right now. So the companies that can be most well positioned to manage their supply chains will be best positioned to sell product as others in the space feel the squeeze of their own supply chain challenges. The other piece of that is just that item data you see on the left. If you're working with retailers today, they require you to send item and product data. We're the first company that offers the ability to automate the sending of that in a single process, regardless of the retailer you're working with, Amazon, et cetera. The benefit there is you have somebody in your company who has this really, really painful process of managing a whole bunch of different Excel spreadsheets to manage how all these different companies and sales channels want the item data, the product attributes that they put up online on their website, and they live that pain and they think there's no other option. The great news is now today with assortment through SPS, we can automate that process so it's a single solution regardless of whether it's an Amazon order, a Shopify order, a traditional Target, Wayfair, et cetera. So providing new automation opportunities and we can jump forward once more. And then finally, part of why we're able to offer such a scalable solution is we do have the world's largest existing retail network. There's 80,000 pre-mapped connections that allow you to be nimble and automating between traditional retailers like the Costco's and Best Buy's of the world, as well as those new emerging spaces like Magento, Shopify, Walmart Marketplace, et cetera. You also have three, you also have 1,000 pre-built 3PL logistic companies in the network as well. And so part of the challenge of e-commerce fulfillment, right? Online orders is there's an expectation actually waiting three to five days to receive product, that's an eternity to today's customer. They want it next day, two days. Well, part of the solution to that is oftentimes working with 3PLs and SPS can help you to automate how you communicate with those 3PLs and again, keep you lean and mean and streamlined within your Sage system as you work with them. It just allows you to have the peace of mind of knowing you're getting a best in class technology stack now that can grow with you and be a product to future growth as you move forward as a company. And that's what I have from the SPS side of things. I'm gonna kick it over now. Yes, hi everyone, my name is Brian Berry. I'm with ScanForce, and we can go ahead and jump onto our first slide over there. So first of all, what is a warehouse management system? How does it relate to Sage? Oops, sorry, back one slide, please. There we go, thanks. So. Think of all the transactions that you do, and it jumped forward again. <laughs> we go back one slide. I think it's on a, I think it might be on a timer, timer, hold on. Well, I'll talk and we'll figure out how to look later. So if you think about all the inventory transactions that you do all day, every day that impact Sage inventory. What we do at Scanforce, we actually take those transactions push them out into the warehouse so the user can access it via a rugged mobile barcode scanning handheld device. And we do that with three goals in mind, accuracy, efficiency, and timeliness, because our inventory is not getting any less expensive, so you can't afford to have mistakes, so accuracy is important. Efficiency, because we want your people to be productive. Fewer steps is better, and we all know there are labor shortages everywhere. So if we can be more efficient, that's just so much the better. And time is because we want your people to be able to make decisions based on the way the inventory looks right now, not the way it looked yesterday. And we want them to be able to tell your customers information about the way it looks right now and not yesterday. So 
Uh, on this screen, we're talking about here, uh, now that we've blocked it on screens, we're not moving, thank goodness. Uh, the things that we do that you would expect the warehouse management system to do is we receive purchase orders, we ship against sales orders, we do physical counts, of course. How would you like to burn all of your account cards? And just go out and scan stuff and have the information, those quantities just magically appear back in Sage without having to pass paper back and forth and do a whole lot of point and click. Also, we do multi-bin. If you're a current user of the DSD ScanForce multi-bin solution, then you're already a customer of ours, so we appreciate that. But in addition to those things that we do that you would expect the warehouse management system to accomplish, we have over 40 enhancements off to the side. These are ways that you can customize our software to make it work in a very specific environment the way your users need to operate. Things like wave picking, grouping orders together so that the picker walks to the warehouse in one serpentine path, picks everything at one time. It's much more efficient than walking the warehouse for each individual order. Also pallet tracking. We can put, uh, you build a pallet, we slap a barcode label on the outside, and then a day, a week, a month later, if you go to ship that pallet, one barcode scan, we know everything that's on it, we can ship it at one time without having to retouch things. If you're an importer or if you receive containers from your vendors, we have an application designed specifically for you to handle that situation. Likewise, if you've got multiple locations, we have the ability to uh, utilize our, our remote stock request app, and it essentially allows you to create what amounts to an internal sales order. And that gives you something to pick against using, again, the mobile barcode scanning devices. It's a lot more efficient than uh, an email that just says, hey, send me 10 more of those. Okay, all right, we can advance to the next screen, please. Okay, so for those of you that are uh, manufacturing as opposed to just straight distribution, we have in our list of 40 plus enhancements, we have manufacturing automation enhancements that dovetail directly into all the ones from Sage, the bill of materials, work order, and production management. With bin production management, we actually have an, a separate enhancement called make to order that allows us to create work tickets directly from within the sales order. You can do it manually and make adjustments, or we can automate the whole process. Enter the sales order, work tickets automatically generated. And of course, we allow the handheld user to, to define the component inventory that they're uh, consuming, how many they're making at the point of completion, and something really cool that we can do with labor tracking not only do we allow them to enter a start time and stop time in a clock in and clock out fashion, but that labor information actually goes into our dashboard. And the reason we do that is because there's always that one guy that says, hey boss, I forgot to clock out when I went to lunch. It really didn't take me three hours to complete this. So it allows you from a management standpoint to go in, massage the data, change that stop time, then select it and send it on through to Sage. So again, back to our, our main focuses of accuracy, efficiency, and timeliness. Everything that we do is centered around those three elements, and we do so integrating with all the other stuff that you're going to hear today. So any questions about how you can make your inventory more efficient, please give us over at ScanForce a call. Thank you. I'll pass it on to the next. My name is Martin John, the Sage Sales Executive here at V Technologies, and appreciate everyone taking time to join our call. So today I just want to do a quick overview of Starship and how we can help automate your shipping process, especially for the holiday season. Uh, so with Starship, one of the real nice things is it is multi-carrier, multi-mode. Uh, so as a shipper, I can actually just work inside the Starship user face. Technically, I don't need access to Sage. I don't need Sage installed on my shipping machine. That's probably out in that warehouse. Uh, but we're going to allow shippers to, again, process small parcel, LTL-type shipments, international, third-party collect, drop shipments, all just from the one user interface. And with Starship, especially with the holiday seasons and, uh, of course, with COVID, um, multi-carrier is the big thing. Kind of Matt was talking about it with 3PLs, which Starship also integrates with. Uh, but having that option of being able to see many different trucking companies or even small parcel carriers. And with Starship, we also return the estimated time of arrival, the delivery date. So, you know, you can be able to see all that information at time of shipment or even from sales order entry. You know, maybe our, our front office wants to be able to quote or be able to tell a customer, you know, hey, that package if it goes UPS is gonna be there in five days, for example. 
but really kind of boils down to having more tools in the shed, you know, going to be able to get your job done a lot easier, get those packages out there so they will be delivered in time for the holidays. Um, also with Starship, uh, we can simply do automatically address of validation where Starship's going to validate zip plus four as well as that residential commercial flag. So helping save fees on address correction and that commercial flag correction. Um, branded email. So we also include our own e-notify program where as a user, you can create your own custom email template or templates and even assign printing or emailing rules. So maybe I want to include a template that shows my customer, you know, here are your item to box details and here are the hyperlink tracking numbers or pro numbers, but also here's a special promo code for stopping back to our website and receiving a 15% off discount next time. Um, so very, a lot of functionality with those templates. Um, same thing with our, our packaging slips or any of the documentations that Starship prints. They can be customized, unlimited templates, and even assign printing rules. Um, so with that, you know, we have a lot of customers that do drop shipment and they need to be blind where, oh, for example, it needs to show like it's coming from Home Depot. And Starship can bring that order information in automatically change it from your company name to, hey, now the sender's uh, Home Depot from this address, or it could even be your same address. Um, and then Starship would also know, oh yeah, Home Depot has a special packing list with their logo, their information. Uh, I believe it even has a return section. So a lot of our clients have that set up inside Starship. Starship simply knows with a printing rule, hey, I'm gonna generate this document when the order is for, say, Home Depot. And of course, we play well with other ISV solutions. So of course, SPS, ScanForce, uh, anyone else on the call, like Repay. Um, really, those integrations with EDI and SPS, we can send them all the required shipping information, like pro numbers, tracking numbers. So you don't have to manually put that information in. So they can then take it and upload it to generate ASN. Um, Starship can also generate 128 labels if you require them. Uh, nice thing with WMS like ScanForce is however you define that um, shipping detail on the handheld device, so item box detail, that's how it's going to flow into Starship. So as a shipper, I don't have to put items in boxes. Package sizes, uh, types will all be selected uh, right from the handheld, and that's how it's going to flow into the Starship program. Uh, next slide is a little bit about some of the carriers that Starship integrates with. Uh, so we do integrate with over a dozen LTL and small parcel 3PL type carriers. Starship's integration allows for live rate shopping. So we are pinging the carriers directly, returning live contract rates. Small parcel carriers, we're going to return published list rates as well. Uh, Starship can even get into doing freight rules where you, maybe you want to add or give a customer a discount. Um, so again, live connections, no staging tables on any, on any of those, pretty much returning pro numbers, tracking information, um, and again, all that information automatically going to go back into Sage. And then we also do integrate with e-commerce, uh, so we can uh, kind of use that as an extension where we take the order from Sage, send the information back into Sage, as well as update the e-commerce site. Or if you wanted to, Starship could pull the order directly from, say, I'm going to use Shopify as an example. You can process the shipment. And then uh, what Starship will do is just simply send that shipping information back to the order on Shopify. So two different ways we can use our e-commerce. But that's basically what I have. Again, quick overview. So again, appreciate everyone taking time. And please feel free to reach out if you'd like to schedule a more in-depth one-on-one call. Alrighty, and hi everyone. My name is Patricia Benitez. I'm the Stage 100 Channel Manager here at Repay, formerly APS Payments. A Repay provides integrated payment processing solutions to verticals that have specific transaction processing needs. Repay's proprietary integrated payment technology platform reduces the complexity of electronic payments for merchants while enhancing the overall experience for consumers and businesses. Next slide, please. We do offer a fully integrated payment suite that works in Sage 100. Repay works with a PCI DSS compliant gateway that provides tokenized data encryption. What this means for you is the ability to become or remain PCI compliant and not risk any payment data getting into the wrong hands. All payment information is stored directly in our vault and we pass a token ID to your Sage system. We offer you level three rates, helping you cut down on the cost of accepting credit cards 
And level three is a program put in place by Visa and MasterCard that requires the merchant to supply 13 to 15 data fields to help minimize the risk of a transaction and in return lowers the cost of the transaction. And not only do we help you accept credit card payments, but we also give you the ability to accept payments via ACH. We also offer an additional feature called Click to Pay, which allows you to utilize the invoices sent out through your paperless office electronically and embed a Pay Now button to the bottom of the invoice. When your client utilizes that pay now button to make a payment on their invoice, they are redirected to our secret portal where they have access to make the payment on their invoice or additionally any outstanding invoices on their account. They also have the ability to make a payment via credit card or ACH inside of that click to pay feature. Um, I'll also mention click to pay is available to embedding your invoices or sales orders for prepayments. Additionally, from those key features that repay offers for your Sage 100 accounts receivable payments, uh, of course, we always have those e-commerce integrations enabled in your omni-channel payments, as well as multiple payment options, your integrated EMV chip reader terminals for card present transactions. Uh, we are multi-currency capable, and of course, no installation fee maintenance to your setup fee. Next slide, please. And of course, this holiday is gonna be costly for everyone involved. The rising costs in three critical areas, those being your manufacturing, logistics, and labor. In short, we are spending more on less. So we do foresee connected retailers with an omni-channel presence, making the most of the acceleration of e-commerce this holiday season. And we hope you leverage our resources to make this record-breaking holiday season smarter, easier, and more successful. Um, if you are interested in sitting down with us and learning more about our payment processing solutions for your Stage 100 system, please feel free to reach out to us. And that's all I have for you today. And I'll hand it back over to Carolyn. Awesome. Thanks, Patricia. Thanks for all that information on credit card processing and payments. And thanks to all the other presenters um, to show us a little bit more on supply chain and how to assist during the holiday season that's happening earlier and earlier. I'm going to put the contacts up on the screen. And again, we will send everybody's contact information out as a follow-up in the email along with a copy of the recording. Great. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate it. And we appreciate everybody for staying on the line and learning more about fulfillment with Stage 100 and the various solutions that are out there. We'll talk to you soon.